aiming to neutralize joblessness with skills training to meet the demands of an evolving workforce, the Gladstone Road headquarters of the National Training Agency officially opened last evening. Prime Minister Perry Christie officially opened the event today, noting the urgency of preparing Bahamians for the opportunities being brought on by development. Now, the site will house the thousands of Bahamians who need to acquire the right skills to enter the job market. As Altavis Money's reports, the government anticipates hundreds of jobs will be generated from the agency's success. Investments like Bahamar, Albany, ongoing developments at the Atlantis Resort on Paradise Island, and the reef in Grand Bahama will need trained and skilled Bahamians to take advantage of the available job opportunities. That's where the Christie administration believes the National Training Agency comes in. The facility will equip school leavers and young adults under the age of 25 with vocational training required for the job market. I'm pleased to announce that an estimated 990 trainees throughout the length and breadth of the Bahamas, including Nassau, Freeport, Abaco, and Exoma, will participate in the first pilot program, which will begin the first week of August and last for 10 weeks. Labor Minister Shane Gibson maintains that empowering the nation's youth for the regional and international stage is crucial in this period of Bahamian history. Prime Minister Perry Christie agrees. Mr. Christie also admonished National Training Agency Director Agatha Marcel to fully utilize her human resources skills to get the job done. And I want you to go out, where, whoever they may be, wherever they are, and find these young, disenfranchised Bahamians, boys and girls, young men and young women, and present them with an opportunity to have a defining change in their lives. National Training Agency Director Agatha Marcel informed ZNS News that the first course for participants will be workforce prep. It's spread over four weeks. It's 12 half days, three half days a week. They have to participate and they have to be disciplined in those in order for us to refer them to the skills training. And skills training is 10 weeks. And at the end of that time, they get their skills certificate. Now that the headquarters for the government's National Training Agency is open, operations don't begin here until next week, Monday, July 22nd. Doors will open at 9 a.m. for registration. Altavis Munnings, ZNS Network News.